Here we have our validation or import spreadsheet. The first column is the column which will have the information that will scan on barcode. The other columns are the fill columns. Once a barcode is scanned that matches a value in the validate column or the first column, the columns one through five will backfill that row in that spreadsheet. So you can have multiple information such as price, description, and other things. Now to export and use this file in Scanda Spreadsheet, you want to use an export to CSV or comma separated values. This is a text-based file that is very plain and simple without a lot of formatting. The file name you want to give the file is import.csv. Scan a spreadsheet won't recognize any file with a different name. Import.csv as a CSV file type. And we're going to go ahead and export that file and save it. To open this file on scan the spreadsheet, email it to yourself. So go ahead and attach that import.csv to an email and email it to yourself and then open it on your iPhone or iPad. So here we have the email with the import.csv file. We're going to go ahead and open it. And here you have a quick preview prov prov provided by Apple. And down at the bottom and also or on the top on some models, there's the share button. This is how we're going to move the file to scan the spreadsheets. We're going to get the, tap that share button and we're going to select import from with scan to spreadsheet from the list of apps. This will start scan to spreadsheet and next we're going to go to the menu button and go to the validation section of scan to spreadsheet. Now if we click, quickly look at our import table, we'll see that the import table is empty. So, and next we're going to go ahead and import that import.csv file. So here it's going to load the 1,500 rows. We've, we've done test imports up to 20 and 30,000 rows. Uh, the import does take a little while with large files like that. However, when we're doing our lookup on scan, the results are instantaneous. So the performance is uh, very good even with a large import file. Here our import file is completed. Now there's a couple options. So we can go into manage file. We can see the uh, rows that were imported. You can also scan and edit the rows within the uh, lookup table manager. And they have a couple choices. We have lookup on scan, error if found, and error when not in list. Uh, for our demonstration, we're going to do a lookup on scan, which means that when we find something in the lookup table, we're going to backfill the other columns with the information from that, from that row. So here we're going to start a new spreadsheet and we're going to scan a barcode that we know is in that uh, lookup table. And here you can see it backfilled the description and the price based on scanning that single barcode. And this is all the information that was in the lookup table. Thank you. And if you need any help, please do contact us. We're happy to help.